Basically what happened is I've got a foot here that uh, was crushed in a car accident in 1973. I'm going to give you the history on it in a quick nutshell. Uh, I almost lost this foot at that time. Crippled well. Children's and Shriners kept this foot on me, so I was able to maintain it. Since then, I've had 17 surgeries. Nine of them have been in the last 10 years. Okay, nine of those surgeries. Uh, four of those have been skin grafts. What had fundamentally happened, this foot is at a wrong angle, and every time I step down on it, I step on the small toe. It built up a ulcer, I called a blister. Started out the size of a eraser pencil, and then it got to the size of a quarter. If you remember two years ago against Purdue, I was in the hospital, almost didn't make it to the game. It got infected. Since then, we've modified shoes. We've done a ton of different things to try to take the pressure off of it. Uh, as at this point, it, re, it got back to a point where it was opened up pretty good. And uh, two weeks ago on Sunday, uh, I was working and uh, basically got it, it, I woke up that night and it got infected. So what the concern was is that it was definitely infected. They were scared it got into the bone. Uh, when they went in to look at it, the plan on going into surgery was to open it up, take some skin from the part of the foot and close it up. When they got in there, they feared, they feared the infection had got into part of the bone. So at that point in time, they, they uh, took off the little toe. Uh, they took out all bones connected to the little toe, opened my foot up, irrigated it, flushed it out. I was on antibiotics for, obviously, in the hospital for the next three days. And they used the skin from the little toe to close up the ulcer and sew it up. So right now, I've got a amputated toe, uh, bones removed, and a skin graft down there. You know, obviously, I always say the same thing. I hope I'm this guy all the time in life. Uh, I see the glass half full. I'm too blessed to stress. This ain't cancer. This isn't a heart. This isn't. There's so many people that deal with so many challenges, and I would be a total fool and, and very self-centered after all the things that the troops come through and everybody that's gone to serve our country and what, what they go through. I just have a mechanical problem here that's going to get fixed, and i got to feel blessed. i got to feel blessed.